Here we go again. I'm Alexander Snugglefork. Welcome to the Snugglefork Show. I'm here to offer you wisdom and perspective on life from the view of a Snugglefork. Today, I'd like to address a growing scourge that's infecting our nation's cities. No, not syphilis. Snuggleforks are immune to syphilis, so I couldn't care less whether or not there's a human outbreak. Although, if syphilis is upon you, would someone please let me know? Because I'll invest some money in penicillin commodities. But I digress. The scourge I want to address today is the comeback of mustaches. Particularly hipster mustaches. You see, the mustache has traditionally been a facial styling exclusive to three groups of people. Cops, cowboys, and gay men over the age of 60. But several years ago, hipsters in New York and Los Angeles took the mustache and ran with it. See, these people who lived in and refused to leave their enclaves in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and Silver Lake, Los Angeles, began growing what they referred to as ironic mustaches. You see, because hipsters would never wear a mustache. So by growing a mustache, it's ironic. <laughs> no, I don't think it's funny either, asshat. Yes, the hipster mustache was ironic. The first five times a hipster grew a mustache, that is. After that, the mustache ceased being ironic and became merely douchey. And now the scourge has spread. Hipsters throughout the land are wearing these mustaches. It's no longer relegated to New York and Los Angeles. Hipsters in Seattle and San Francisco and even Cincinnati are sporting handlebar mustaches. You know who can wear a handlebar mustache with dignity? Sam Elliott. That's pretty much it. Everyone else in the universe looks like a douche. So please, hipsters, do the world a favor. Shave those douchey-looking mustaches. <laughs>